Okay, example one, f of x is equal to x squared. We want to use the definition of a derivative to find the derivative of this function. And the definition of a derivative is this, f primed, which is what we're looking for, f prime of x will be the limit as delta x approaches zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. And we're gonna put in this function into this formula. And we're gonna find a new function, f prime of x. And the value of that function at any point x will be the slope of my original function at that point x. So how do we do this? Well, this is gonna be the limit as delta x approaches zero of f of x plus delta x. So f of this, I need to take x plus delta x and put it in here for x. So this is gonna be x plus delta x squared. Okay, that is f of x plus delta x minus f of x. And f of x is just x squared over delta x. Now let's work out this. That's x plus delta x times x plus delta x. So this is the limit as delta x approaches zero. We'll square the binomial and you get x squared plus two x delta x plus delta x squared. And then we still have this minus x squared. And all this is over delta x. Now you notice this x squared here and the minus x squared. Those guys cancel out. So we just have the limit as delta x approaches zero of two x delta x plus delta x squared over delta x. And up top, there's a delta x in every term. So we can factor that out and get it to cancel. So we have the limit as delta x approaches zero. I'll factor that out here, delta x, two x plus delta x over delta x, and these guys cancel out, and look what we have. Something we can easily take the limit of. The limit as delta x approaches zero of two x plus delta x. And clearly, as delta x approaches zero, this piece goes away, and we're just left with two x. So this just equals two x, and that's our answer. We have a new function, the derived function. That's f prime. So we can write, we can write f prime of x equals two x. And what does that mean? Does this seem to work? We can use this little function to calculate the value of the slope for, at various values of x. So for example, at x equals one, for example, the slope of my original function, the slope of function f is going to be f prime of one. So I'll just stick in a one right there and that's clearly Two. Okay, at, at x equals two, I could find f prime of two, which would be four. Just put in a two right there, two times two is four. So I can find the slope of my original function at any point x just by plugging in that value for x. At x equals zero, the, sl the slope would be f prime of zero, which is clearly zero. At x equals negative one, the slope would be f prime of negative one, which is negative two. Now, if you're following along on the printed notes, uh, you might need to turn the page. There's some graphs here, or some axes. We can graph these two functions together. So let's graph f of x, which was x squared, and its derivative, f prime of x, which is two x. And these are pretty easy to graph. X squared is your standard parabola. It's gonna go through zero, zero, one, one, and two, four. So I'll plot this point and this point and this one and over here. So 
so that's x squared and then our graph f of x or f prime of x is 2x it's going to go through 0 0 and then it will have a slope of 2 this is just a line with a slope of 2 so it looks something like that this function is the derivative of my original function this function has a value at any given x this function has a value that is equal to the slope of this function at that x now we saw graphs similar to this paired together when we were looking at derivatives graphically but now we have actual numbers and two accurate graphs or two known functions one of which is the derivative of the other the significance here though is that we have a general process the process that we just went through will work for any function not just this particular one we can find the slope of any function at any point and without all the tedious calculations of, to, of finding a, a difference quotient at every single point and when we were graphing things by hand we were just making estimates but now we have exact exact values from a from a known function here you can put in any number for x and calculate an exact value for the slope so we're not in any doubt about the answer we're no, we're no longer in the area of approximations we have a general procedure and a very powerful one at that